level of play that you, you, you've reached right now? Um, I guess I just feel pretty confident. Uh, last game was kind of my game to, to take over, and that's what I did. Um, felt like I've been pretty confident all year. Drew, what's it like to have to Marcus back around the guys, especially here? No, it's awesome um, to see what the future is, is like for them. You know what I mean? Uh, to be able to come in here and have this atmosphere, especially at home, um, playoff atmosphere, um, it, it, it's, it's great. Have you had the chance to talk to him about the past two games and you know, this first series? I mean, a little bit. Uh, I felt like he, he knew what we were capable of. Um, he obviously thought that we'd get two, two on the road, so that's what happened. And coming back here has just been, again, it, it's been really fun playing. And coming back here with two wins is great. How have y'all kind of dictated the tempo of this series? How have you gotten them to play your game a little bit more than probably they wanted? Um, I guess just imposing our will, imposing our game on them. Uh, being able to run fast, being able to pressure up. Um, a, again, it's a team effort. I think it's one through five or one through eight or nine, whoever's on the court at that time. So um, every time somebody steps on the court, uh, we, we go as hard as we can. And uh, at that point when we get tired, we sub other people in and they do the same. When you get to this point in the, in the season, I mean, I, how valuable is someone like Rondo who can, he basically has a, a pulse, you know, for the flow of the game and knowing when to push it, when somebody might need a shot, uh, just the whole distribution from, from top to bottom. Right, uh, it's playoff Rondo. Um, he's done it throughout this year, um, especially when we have lows uh, on offense, uh, especially noticing the, the hot guys and when to give them the ball, but that's just another level here. Um, he's been through it, he's been through it plenty of times, so, um, uh, again, I'm, I'm glad I'm on his team. Drew, he hasn't really been through it very much at all in terms of the postseason. Given his stature in the league and the regular season, what can he do for his own career trajectory by, by winning this series and, and others down the line? Um, I guess just boost his stock to hopefully be an MVP uh, if, he doesn't, if, he does, if it's not him this year. So, um, again, the way he's been playing, the way he's been carrying us all season, uh, and he's been doing well during the playoffs too. Uh, Obviously, that last game was a little bit more physical, but this game, we know how Anthony gets when, when he feels like he didn't play as, as best as he can. So, um, again, just here, excited, ready to play. You remember that game three against Golden State the last time in this building, and you know, uh, what do you expect the crowd to be like compared to that night? Um, expected to be crazy. Uh, every seat filled, every T-shirt on, um, everybody cheering for, for us and being able to be that sixth man that we need. Have you made it a personal goal to not let Lillard and McCullum have one of those big games capable? Again, I take pride in my defense every night. Every night I have a different matchup, so it's 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 been the same objective for me. But um, I can't say that it's just me. Uh, my, my teammates help me out so much, and I feel like they're not getting, getting enough credit where um, they always see more than one body. And I feel like that's where where, where they make it difficult. Um, just one-on-one, they're, they're, they're great. But seeing two and three guys makes it a lot harder. What is the factor defensively? Is it communication? Is it just knowing the system better? What, where is it that has gotten you guys to this point where the trap can come, but you're not leaking out of the back end either? I think a little bit of everything. Uh, the communication there is great. Uh, knowing what we want to do and practicing that and kind of instilling that in our brain. So um, that's the great thing about playoffs. Uh, <clears throat> our adjustments, we, we feel like they work. So if we adjust to them, then we stick with it. Are you guys surprised some of these nationals that, nationally that people didn't know how well you played defense? Are you surprised that you're really starting to just get out there and play black? Sorry, what, what was the question? Are you surprised that you know, nationally that your, your reputation for playing good defense is just starting to sort of um, Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me. Again, I, I feel like I have a matchup every night, and, and to be able to do that every single night for 82 games or however long it is is, uh, is my objective. That's, that's why I'm here. That's what the team wants me to do. So um, I guess it's just a bonus. You expect them to play with a sense of desperation tonight, Drew? For sure, for sure. Uh, game three, uh, down two on the road. Uh, that's that's the only thing that I feel like everybody here expects. But we have to play with the same thing. We know this is a crucial game for both teams. So you guys have to match the intensity that they're going to bring out from the beginning, right? Um, I, you can say that. I feel like we still have to play our game. So um, we're going to come with our own intensity. Uh, the crowd is definitely going to bring uh, bring our level up and. From there, hopefully, uh, I mean, we can we can get this one.